welcome to Name Hero. I'm Ryan, the founder and CEO. In this video tutorial, I want to talk about how to set up an email account on a subdomain. So right now I've got just on my screen a little text document and you'll see my example domain is keydiets.com. And you know, a normal email address would just be like ryan at keydiets.com. You know, you could use webmaster at keydiets or orders or what have you. But a subdomain it's treated exactly the same as keydiets.com would be, except it's got this little um, suffix in front of it or prefix, one or the other, <laughs> specials.keydiets.com. Okay, so um, what a lot of people do is they'll set up email accounts that are personalized or specialized to a, a different department. Um, so for example, let's say my keydiets.com domain is like a, a diet um, website where people can get you know information on the best way to eat and to lose weight or gain weight or whatever their goal is. And let's say that there's a subsection where they get specials like promos, coupon codes, and all that stuff. Well, if they don't want to email on their main domain, meaning that I don't want the promo codes coming from Ryan at Key Diets, I could essentially set up another email account, Ryan at specials.keydiets.com. Or I could use like um, specials at or not mix, it's coupons at specials or alerts or whatnot. Um, but it just allows segmentation of your domain. Um, and it's also very important if you have like a, a big team. So you know, if you have a, a big corporation, you could do like corp, C O R P, dot your domain dot com. And these email addresses are treated the exact same as your primary domain. And the good thing is, these are really easy to set up. Um, and I will be demonstrating today using cPanel. And so it's um, really, really simple, but I'm just gonna walk you through step by step. I know this is something that I do quite frequently for my own websites, and I'm sure it'll also help you out um, set it up if you're wanting to you know, have a similar on your cPanel account. So um, name here, this is our main website here. Today's tutorial is gonna be based around you know, how to do this inside a cPanel. So even if you're not using this here at Name Hero, you should, should find this tutorial valuable. I've got one on your, our YouTube channel here. I did several years ago, but cPanel's changed up their theme so many times it looks all outdated. So I wanted to refilm this and, and get this put back out um, so I can help you here in 2023 at these. Um, I'm, I'm gonna log into my cPanel, so I'm in my Name Hero interface, and I don't wanna waste time like logging in, so I just jumped right on in. And so my domain's keydiets.com, and I'm gonna log into cPanel. I can use either one of these buttons to do so. Okay, and again, if you have another provider, they might have a different way to get inside a cPanel. Um, you know, sometimes you can go to your domain.com slash cPanel and enter your username and password. At Name Hero, we, I'm a big fan of single sign-on. It just keeps things simple. You don't have to hassle with passwords, and this is extremely safe and secure coming right from your account. Okay, so we're brought in here now. So first off, you're gonna notice, um, depending on when you watch this video, the Horde webmail, it's actually being removed from cPanel and Webhost Manager. So um, if you're a Horde fan, it's gonna be gone. You know, several years ago, they depreciated Squirrel Mail. Squirrel Mail was my favorite. <laughs> and so um, now they're gonna get rid of Horde too. But that's all right, there's still other webmail clients that look good here. Um, the first thing we have to do is we have to be able to create a subdomain. We have to have the domain set up before we can add the email account. So inside of cPanel, I like to use this top search here. I'm gonna search for subdomains, and it's just under domains now. Again, they change the interface all the time. Um, so I'll click domains, and you can see, actually, I've already got one set up. I've got blog.keydiets.com. So see, here's another example. If I wanted to give my blog writers um, their own email address, but they're different than a normal um, team member at keydiets.com, then they would be at blog.keydiets. But continuing on with my um, example here, I am gonna set up the specials. So what I would do is click on create, no, create a new domain, and then I just type it in, specials.keydiets.com. All right, so just make sure it's in there, make sure it's typed in correctly. And then I look down here at the document root. So this is where all the, the files are gonna be stored for, for key diets. Um, I like to put this above public HTML, share document root. No, we, we do not wanna do this. I, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna go through CMail settings, see if I can't take this off. That's a bad idea if you put everything in the same folder. I, I don't like that at all. That's a, a cPanel, if you're watching that, please take this feature away. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the um, just the home directory. So home and key diets is where this would be. And then you create a, a special folder for this subdomain. 
So if I just want to explain this because it's really important to keep your file structure clean. Uh, it keeps your accounts, you know, so we, you know where everything is and it also helps you back it up a lot easier. And, you know, God forbid you, you, if you lose data or whatnot and you need to restore backup, it's just a lot easier if we keep the stuff organized. So I think it's important to highlight this. If I go to File Manager, you'll see if I just click on this home. This is my main home directory for the Key Diets account. Um, and then I can have my subdomains or add-on domains in here, whereas the public HTML, this is for actual keydiets.com. So that's why I like, I would not want to share a document root because man, that'd get really full and uh, uh, it stresses me out thinking about it. Maybe it's just my OCD. But anyways, so once I create this folder, you'll see the specials. So let's do that. And once I create the add-on domain, it's going to create the folder. So I'm just going to submit. Yeah, you must specify a subdomain. I thought I did. Maybe I can go back in here and do it. Let's look. I've got unlimited, so what's the deal here? I always save it for a live tutorial for something to go wrong, right? Uh, let's see. Domain. There we go. All right. So when this happens, and actually I know I was filming a video earlier and I changed the name servers and I'm assuming that's what's given us, was giving us the error is it took a little bit to reconnect everything back up. I moved the key diets domain off. Anyways, long story. Um, but let's get in here and, and get this set up. So you can see now I've created my subdomain specials. Now, if you just want to redirect this, you can do that. So maybe there's not a site at specials.keydiets. It's just a uh, domain, subdomain for an email. You can redirect. So if someone types in specials.keydiets.com, that they would actually just go to your main website. So let's click Manage and modify the redirect. And so what I can do here is just add a permanent to specials. Um, and then it's just going to do all this, wildcard, wildcard. And we can just redirect this to with or without. Okay. So anything specials.keydiets.com. We'll just go to the main Keydiet site. Because again, the purpose of this tutorial is just to create this email um, address. Okay, so now I've added my subdomain. I've set up a redirect just because I don't want it to go anywhere, you know, nowhere when if someone would type it in. And now we can go to email accounts. Okay, so you can see I already have a, a, another demo email here. But I'm going to go over here and click Create. And under Domains, you'll see I've got my specials. So now I can easily put Ryan at specials.keydiets.com. Now remember, this is completely different than the regular keydiets.com domain. So if I have like Ryan at keydiets.com, this is going to be completely separate. So again, this is beneficial if you have a large team or you just want to segment out your email boxes. Uh, set password now. I like to make them really strong here. So I always push to generate and copy and paste it and make sure it has 100. Anything lower than that, man, it's you just kind of asking for it. I uh, got some optional settings. So the max space for our email inboxes is uh, one gig on this package. Actually, we can go a little higher on the business. But, you know, one thing I see some people when they're setting up email boxes is they set this space really, really high. And, you know, it'll start to really chew at your um, inode count on your account. So set this for a gig. And then if you start approaching the gig on your email, it's always best to clear some out versus just expanding that out. Because uh, again, you know, when you're talking backups and data recovery, if something awful would go on, um, or you get that person in your organization that one never checks their email, um, my wife, or two doesn't um, empty their spam folder, it can really, really, really add up. And yes, you can create spam folders. We'll get to that in a second, but you know, I like to limit this to no more than a gig. All right, create. Okay. So now, Ryan at specials.keydiets.com, that will function. Um, there's a couple options over here. One, I can check in the webmail. So you can see Horde's gone, Squirrel Mail's gone. We only have RoundCube now. But RoundCube's actually really good. I can open it up, and here's my inbox. So now I can just 
go off my way and start creating emails, ryan at specials.keydiets.com. Um, if I wanna connect my iPhone or my computer, I just go in here to connect devices and I've got all the information on how I wanna connect it. So iOS for an iPhone, iPad, iPod, or Mac OS, and then we have the Windows Live. Um, I always recommend if you're going to be connecting a, a client, use IMAP over SSL TLS. You don't wanna use the unencrypted version and POP3 is really, really old. I don't recommend using POP3 at all. So I would just always use IMAP uh, SSL TLS. And if you click this, it kind of gives you a little bit more details on how you would go about setting this up. And that actually gives me a file. So that file will set it up on my Mac for me if I wanted to you know, set it up on this computer, which I don't. Um, and then I have the manual mail settings. So I can click this file again on my computer. I'm on a Mac right now. So I could click this file I just downloaded and it's automatically gonna set up that inbox on my computer and my native Mac um, email client. Um, if I have Windows, I could do the same thing. For my iPhone, I could essentially drag this over to my um, I, iChat window and click it on my phone and set it up that way. Or I can just edit these um, or input these information inside of um, my iPhone. So I just go into settings on the iPhone, go to accounts, and then add a new email account. And then here's the credentials that I would want to use. Um, the big thing is that when I'm setting up the SMTP, it requires authentication which is username and password. So that's one of the a common support ticket at Name Hero I see is customers will set up their email account and the inbound email works great, but they can't send out. And the problem is they forgot to add their username and password to it. So again, this, um, this setup file, it works pretty good, but sometimes it can be a little hard to get it on your iPhone if you haven't done it before. So me personally, when I set up new email accounts, I just enter them in because literally it's all just entering in um, you know, your email address, your password we just set up, um, using this incoming server, using this outgoing server. And then remember I said we're gonna use IMAP, not POP. So we use port 443 and then 465 for our SMTP. Here's the non SSL. You don't wanna do that. If you're sending emails, sending and receiving without SSL, that can be easily intercepted and someone could be you know, having a man in the middle attack on your emails. So don't do that. Don't use this. Of course, I can email these instructions. So if I wanted to you know, send these over to myself so I could set it up on my iPhone or maybe I'm setting this up for a client, I could send that and it's gonna send them you know, these instructions that we just talked about. That's all there is to it, really. Um, you know, it's pretty simple. We just wanna add the subdomain first. Um, obviously, you wanna make sure when you're setting this up that if you use a third-party DNS provider like Cloudflare um, and you use their name servers, you would make sure you added um, this domain, the subdomain inside of Cloudflare. Um, that's a whole other tutorial in itself, You know, setting up DNS, DNS records that are external. Um, for me, I'm using my hosting package, so my name servers are simply ns1and2.namehero. And so um, my domain's actually here, my name hero, I'll show you what it looks like. Key diets. While that loads up here, actually let's go back. If I go to name servers custom, ns one and ns 2namehero.com which is our default anyways. So if these aren't set to your package, wherever your cPanel account's located, then you're gonna have to add those, um, like if you're using Cloudflare name servers, the easy way to put it, then you actually have to log into Cloudflare and add the A record for your subdomain, which is what it looks like. And I've got plenty of video tutorials on our YouTube channel on how to set up DNS records. Um, but you'll see, you're not noticing there's not a, a zone for specials.keydiets. And that's because since it's a subdomain, it's in this master your root domain zone file. If I click manage, you'll see the specials down here. I'll search for it. Say it's right here. So I've got this specials, um, a record, and then my IP address. So if I was using Cloudflare, I'd wanna log into Cloudflare and make sure I add this record here. But since my DNS is all local to my hosting package, it's super simple and it just works. Um, let's see, I, I did change my name servers earlier, so let's see if it'll resolve. Yeah, it still resolves. So let's go to specials. Yep, there goes to my main site. It's 404 not found because I don't have a site set up. Um, I didn't set up a blog or anything for this tutorial since we were just talking about email. 
But that's how it's done. Again, if you're setting this up for your employees, your team members, your um, associates, um, they can access this webmail as well. Um, that's a whole other interface. If I go back to my account and click log into webmail, it's right here. So Ryan at specials.keydiets. Did I copy that? That's done there. No, I didn't. Let me change my password and I'll show you just so we're all in the clear here. Manage. I'm just going to change my password because I didn't copy it. Update. So you could give this um, webmail address to your colleagues or whoever has email address. That way they're not logging into your cPanel account to get to their email. Click log in, and you can see they have access to their own little interface here. Hello. To where they can access their email. And you can see here's the configuration settings we sent. And so we're off to the races. Now you can send and receive email from your um, subdomain on inside of cPanel. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a comment below on the YouTube video. Um, obviously, if you're a customer name here and you need help, uh, please uh, don't leave a comment. You can leave a comment too, but those aren't monitor monitored 24-7. Please submit a trouble ticket or a live chat on the Name Hero website, um, and we'll get right back with you. Team's working around the clock, 24-7, 365. Um, if this video helped you out, though, we certainly do appreciate all the thumbs up. Um, and also, you want to mash that subscribe button so you're made aware and we have uh, future videos and also have some promotions, all kinds of cool content coming out. And even if you're not using us at Name Hero, uh, we produce all kinds of content here for uh, cPanel, web hosting, WordPress, scaling your website, securing your website, or you know even to choosing your best domain. So um, I believe we can help you out if you're watching this and this helped you. I'm sure there's going to be more videos that will certainly help you out with your um, website, or your business website, or blog. Uh, but thanks for watching and those that use us at NameHero.com.